Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you don't know who I am already, hi, I'm Meg. Please hit that subscribe button and give us a whole big thumbs up. My Instagram and TikTok will be on one of these sides and this is not sponsored and I'm not trying to brag in any shape or form. Anyways, we're just going to get started. That closet's kind of bugging me a little bit. I need to close it all the way. So today's video will be a prep with me and a first day of college vlog for the spring semester. So I signed up for two classes, but one of them had a wait list and I'm still on that wait list. So if I don't get in by tomorrow, I'll probably just take the one class. But then I only get three credit hours, which kind of sucks. But these classes aren't accelerated this time. So they're, that's why I should probably take two at the same time. But the one class I'm for sure taking is like an invention history technology kind of class. I will just explain it later, but I don't know how to describe it but it is basically sorry one second sorry guys my family's right there and like you can hear them but the first class i am for sure taking is the um so the first class that i am taking which is a for sure like i'm for sure taking this one is the invention <coughs> So the first class that I'm taking, this is a for sure, like I'm already like paid for it and basically ready to go. It is a invention history technology class. It's about inventions, technology, and like history. So it was basically, I couldn't find any other classes, so I had to sign up for a random <coughs> class. Um, I just swore, I'm sorry, but I just signed up for a random class and that was the class I signed up for, but the professor seems very nice and laid back. And that's why I was okay with it because the professor, um, wait, my professor seems very nice. And I want to say rate, like, wait, rate, sorry. And then the other class that I'm probably not going to get into, but it's always worth a shot, is art appreciation. Overall, the one class that is a for sure, that's a yes, is invention, history, technology, whatever it is. And then art appreciation, I'm on a wait list, and I probably won't get in, but it's worth a shot. But yeah, basically, I'm going to um, prepare by, you know, doing some self-care. I'm also going to clean out my backpack and then do a couple other things. And then that, that is what I'm going to do. do. All right, so we attempted to do the butterfly cut last night, which is like where you like put your hair up like that and then put it up and then you put it to the front and cut it. We attempted it and it turned out really nice. It gave like really pretty layers, but I do want my hair to be a little shorter. Not much, probably like just like this much shorter, but my conditioner did not wash out the best. It's like so oily. You probably don't really see it, but it's like greasy and it feels greasy. So I'm having to do, I need to take another shower. Anyways, and this nasty thing has been on my face forever and I cannot get rid of it. And I try to pop it and now it looks worse. So don't mind this little friend. Um, his name's Alfred. I just came up with that like right when I said it. So Alfred, that's the name. All right, guys. So we are heading out. We're not heading out. I'm at, heading out of my room. But I need to figure out what I want to do for lunch. So I think I'm going to save the rest of this drink for tomorrow. It's just um, a caramel brulee. That's why I got a big size on purpose because I saved some of it. my lunch plus snack and then on top of that to make it like more flavorful i'm gonna add olive oil to like you know dip it in and then to put in the olive oil i'm just looking for it
But basically what I did was I cut up a baguette or like half of it and then put olive oil and then this Italian seasoning on it and it makes this little yummy, you know, little. All right, guys, it is time to quickly go for my backpack. I'm just going to get rid of whatever I don't need. Like, for instance, I don't need these philosophy books anymore. So these can go bye-bye. This is my planner for school. I just put due dates in. These philosophy books, they're kind of in bad shape. Like, the, the pages. <sighs> I think I should just throw these books out. Well, at least this one, because this one is like... And yeah, I'm popping popcorn over there, so don't mind that, but this just should go in trash. We bought these books, so I might sell the other ones, though. I did highlight in these, though, but someone else also highlighted in these, so. See, like, I highlighted in them, so, like, I don't know what to do with them. If I should just sell them, if someone's gonna still use them, or if I should just throw them out. Oh, my popcorn's ready. Um, This just has a bunch of essential stuff that, if I want to look back. And I have another notebook, and then... I have my pencil case. One second, let me get my popcorn. All right. So this I've written my syllabuses in, which I don't think I'm gonna continue using this, but I'm still gonna keep it. And then um, I have another notebook, which I don't really write my notes down on paper anymore because it literally takes so much time and it's just not worth it when like you can write notes digitally. But I'm putting everything else just back in here. And here I just have, I think I just have like basic, like if I ever like leave, and like study somewhere else i just have a bunch of stuff here and then this is just a folder with i can throw that out so i'm still going to use this folder now i need to figure out what to do with these books this one is just going to go into trash because these books weren't even that expensive though so it's kind of a good thing at least we don't waste like too much money by ruining that book all right guys my backpack is gone through i made popcorn to eat because it's been like probably about an hour or two since the last time i ate which i showed you guys so I'm probably going to just eat like half of that before dinner. All right, guys. So I just changed into pajamas, but these are not what I'm going to wear to bed. I wear less clothes to bed because it's uncomfortable having fabric around me when I go to bed. I am going to remove my makeup since I still have it on. So I just use the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. I'm just going to put my hair into a headband and put my wrist covers on. I just use my finger. It does come with like a little tool, but it's just easier to use my finger. Look at how much worse that looks with the makeup off. It looks like it's ready to pop, but I don't know if I want to do that. That's not a good idea. We're not gonna do that. All right, guys. So I put a pimple patch on. I thought I was recording, but I put one on just for a couple hours before I do my face mask, just to see if it starts doing anything and if it does start to do something, or like I feel it kind of doing something. I'll put it on tonight. All right, guys. So I'm gonna do a face mask right now, and I gotta choose which one. Okay, we got a couple options. We have a jade sheet mask, a glow baby. And these ones last a little longer, and um, I need to go pee really bad. Like, I the toilet's right here, so I'm just gonna go pee right here. <laughs> I'm just looking and seeing 10 to 20 minutes. I'm not doing that one, that one's too long. It's brightening, soothing, and then this is I'm gonna use brightening, so brighten my skin for college. So, and this one we leave on for 10 to 20 minutes. So I'm gonna say 15. Okay, I think I'm gonna wash my face with cleanser first. This one ply toilet paper just isn't doing it, guys. Gently unfold sheet mask and place on face, adjusting eye, nose, and mouth openings to fit. Kick your feet and relax for 10 to 20 minutes. Remove mask and discard. No need to rinse your pretty face. Oh, thank you. Massage the remaining serum over face and neck. Okay. Oh, this does not fit my face properly. Now I'm gonna need to basically sit here for 15 minutes. I'm gonna do 15 in the middle. All right, 
right, guys, I am back. It's been like 15 minutes and I'm gonna rip this thing off. Like that. And my mask is done. Hey guys, so it is the next day and it is the first day of second semester, which is like spring semester. I worked out, I meditated, I did all that morning stuff. I got up around 5.30 a.m. I wanted to get up around 5, but I naturally woke up at 5.30 because my alarm didn't go off. Or it did, but it wasn't, it didn't make noise. Or I slept for it, I don't know. But I still got up like 30 minutes later, so that's fine. I didn't brush my teeth yet because my mom was in the bathroom, so I couldn't really, I didn't want to interrupt her. So I need to do that. And I also need to wash my face. And guys, the pimple patch actually kind of worked. Which the one pimple patch I put on, I took it off right after because it was bugging me too much. But I put it on before I went to bed. And when I woke up, it was like filled with pus, which was amazing. So anyways, um, you probably hear snoring, but that's because of her. She's loud. And then I have another pug. But she's not as loud. So I did take a nap. It is like 10 o'clock. So I really need to get school started. But I have breakfast. So I have um, banana bread I made. And then I have my leftover Starbucks from yesterday, which is a caramel brulee. So I'm going to eat and then also check my emails. All right, I need to clear something up because I thought I talked about this in this vlog, but I didn't. So um, it will make sense for the rest of the vlog because you guys will be really confused. So when I was signing up for the class, it said it was 16 weeks. So I was like, that's why I thought I need to take two classes because usually I take accelerated. But then when I got the syllabus, it said it was 12 weeks. And then on the course, it said it was eight weeks. So I didn't know how long the class was going. So I sent my email professor. I meant send my professor an email, not send my email a professor. That is so embarrassing. Oh my God. And he doesn't respond. So I'm like panicking. So I go on to my um, actual like email because I emailed him through Canvas. So I emailed him actually on like Outlook and he finally responded and I'll get into that later what he basically said, but basically that's what happened. So now back to the video. So I was not that productive today, but I did get some school done. Um, I still haven't heard back from my professor from that email. So I'm hoping I get that tonight or if I don't get it by tomorrow morning, I'm gonna contact him on his other email, like his actual email. Cause I contacted him through Canvas, which is like, the platform we use so I don't know if he just doesn't use that or what but anyways i got dinner because i treated myself for the first day so we got sushi from this local sushi place in my hometown <laughs> see here's a piece oh don't eat it and then we got miso soup. soup and then of course i have a pepsi that i just got from the basement so Hey guys, so it is not the next day, it's the day after. Um, I finally got an email back from my professor and the reason why I didn't get the email was because he sent it on Monday, but basically it didn't go through because Canvas, which is the thing that we basically use uh, system, but it didn't go through because um, Canvas is having issues and there was no record of it. So that's really weird. And Canvas has just been being weird. All the whole like school system is being weird. Um, the class is actually eight weeks, not 16 or 12 weeks. On the like thing where you like sign up, it said 16 weeks, but that was a lie. So I got to find a class after that will cover the last eight weeks. So now I have to really focus on all this work that I have that's due like in the next few days because I thought I had more time because I thought the class was 12 weeks or well, at least 12 weeks but it's actually eight weeks so I'm kind of I'm kind of stressed right now but so please disregard the fact that I said a class you know last 16 weeks because I was not true it lasts eight weeks there's just issues with our college I, I don't know I did a lot of work yesterday um and then today I'm gonna do more work but I also have therapy so I have stuff like to do today that like, you know, might take too much time. So it just depends on like how much things I get done if like, you know, stuff like that. Anyways, I'm gonna read my emails. So I'm gonna plug this bad boy in. Hold on a second. Hello guys. So I just got home from therapy well, about an hour ago, but I have to continue doing school since I am a little bit behind because I told you guys earlier about what happened. I'm not like behind like the due dates, but like unable to get them done by the due date, I'm a little behind. So I'm a little concerned, but oh my God. I'm going to work on school for a little bit, but before that I got a package from Hot Topic and it is a stuffed animal. My stuffed animal addiction has gotten really bad. And this is not a Squishmallow, by the way, but it's from the same brand. I thought we'd do a little unboxing here because why not? I should say I'm bagging, but because it's a bag, not a box. But I'm going to open it, but I'm going to shut my door. It's a box of animals. 
Something else on my to-do list is I'm going to have to put a bunch of clothes away, which are all right here. I just haven't put them away and organize that. I might not do that today, but I'm probably going to do the clothes today. I think I'm going to get scissors, so I'll be back. Okay, I don't know where my scissors went, so I'm just going to rip it open. So I'm just going to poke a hole in it. That'll suck if I need to return it, but... I see the color. That's too cute. Oh, Her name is Shay. Your chocolate milk is trolley, which I should get that one because the name's trolley. And then Palmer's uh, peach milk, but this is Shay. Most likely to make breakfast for dinner. I love breakfast for dinner. But basically the reason why I got this one was because I wanted a strawberry milk squishmallow for like so long, but then I kind of like phased out of it and I'm like, I don't really know if I want a squishmallow anymore. It's just not my thing, you know what I mean? And then I saw this and was like, I'd rather have this than a squishmallow. So I ended up getting this. It's by the same brand as squishmallows. It's just a different type of stuffed animal. So these are really cute because they come with um, a sticker. This was originally $14.90, but I got it for less. It was cheaper because they were having a sale. Hot Topic is a little expensive with their stuffed animals, not gonna lie. But it wasn't too bad if the sale because it was like 30% off, so. Making yarn inside the new factories or weaving it into cloth in their homes. <laughs> Only a matter of time before it reached England's former colonies in America. So, real quick, let me pause my time here because I want to vlog. So, it is Friday the 13th. So, so yay for that. I didn't really vlog much about my week because I wanted to kind of get used to the class. But now that I kind of got it down a little bit, I am... Um, I think I'll vlog next week, like in a separate video. Well, in a future week. I'm, I'm not sure. sure. I'll talk more about it later, but... I'm watching this video about mill times, about like textiles. I don't know if I'm bored or interested or probably both. Anyways, I'm going to continue watching that video. Because we have a quiz on it, so I'm going to have to do that. And I only got free attempts for this quiz. Like usually for the rest of the quizzes, we have like, it says 99 attempts. That's a lot. So basically unlimited attempts. And this one we got free attempts. So All mills need let's a watch. Supply. That is all I filmed. I did not film an outro. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please give us a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.